today I'm going to be showing you how to find a secret cat pet in Cyberpunk 2077. Now, I'm pretty sure looking at it, this is a very exotic Swinx cat, which is kind of crazy how it just happens to be homeless in Night City. But today I'll be showing you how you can befriend it and actually have it in your apartment permanently as your pet cat, which is pretty damn cool. So the first thing you need to do is go to your apartment just here in Watson. If you guys forgot where it is, it's this icon over here. You can actually fast travel to your apartment via the mega building H10 Atrium. And here we are in V's apartment. So once you are here, you're going to want to go ahead and exit. You can actually see the fast travel point just here. Now from the actual door to your apartment, you're going to turn right and then you're going to walk down the corridor just here. Now by the bin you're going to find a data card that says feed to cat. I think it's meant to say the, I don't know if that's a typo from one of the developers or what. There's actually an empty cat bowl just here with loads of scratch marks on it. I don't know if you guys have cats but like yeah you can see all the milk here. This poor cat is probably starving. So if we pick this up and go ahead and read it, you'll actually see somebody feed the cat. Anything works, but he likes chicken most. Just say ps 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 and he'll come running. I mean, that is true. My cats are the exact same. Now, as you can see, I've already picked up cat food. You guys can see I currently have free cat food. Applies the nourishment status. It'll have you purring in no time. Now it's very easy to get cat food in the game, you can get it from loads of lootable containers and also killing police officers, looting any containers, it will just be like a random droppable item. Like all the other food in the game, it has a random chance to drop cat food. However, if for some reason you do not yet have cat food, my friends, I will show you a guaranteed location you can get cat food and then you too can feed the cat and get yourself a pet cat. So let's run back out of our apartment building over here to the fast travel point. Then we're gonna go ahead and go all the way down here on the map to the Santo Domenico. Now I just wanna say a big shout out to this Reddit thread posted by Boy Stance. Urgent, has anyone found cat food or chicken in their playthrough? I need to find cat food or chicken to complete something I've been trying to do in game. This should be a priority amongst all cat lovers out there. Please help, I know it's out there somewhere. And then someone called Cats, Dogs, Mice replied saying, here in my experience, and then he actually tells us where it is. So you have to come here on the map to the Santo Domenico. And then if you go ahead and zoom in, just here in the middle, you'll find the Arasaka Industrial Park. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel there now. So this will take you to this fast travel point. Now I recommend saving the game here. Because in order to get the cat food, we're going to have to run inside. And you can just run straight through the front door. You will... Excuse me, sir. Um, What, what are you That's doing up there? Activity. Very... Oh, that is very suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. So as you guys can see, once you come through the door there, you're going to want to come to the right here. And then you're going to come downstairs just here. And inside this room... There is a guaranteed cat food location. Just on the shelf here, you will find cat food. So you can go ahead and pick that up, my friends. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm taking no damage right now, we're actually playing on hard difficulty. I just have 6,460 armor. I'll make another video about how to do that. I'll release that tonight, my friends. Double video day! But for now, it is much more important than you pick up this cat food, ignore all these enemies. And then come back to the fast travel point so we can go back to V's apartment and feed this cat. And once again, we're going to walk to the right of our apartment door. I'm going to go down the corridor back to this little kitty cat food bowl here. And now you'll have a new option to leave the food in there. Da! Wait, why is it still in the plastic packaging? That is not good. And then you need to go... Kitty cat. Okay, uh, let's just go into our bedroom. And go to sleep. Okay, it's the next day. Let's go ahead and check our cat bait. Uh, <gasps> look. Hey, look. See that? Oh, 
Johnny. Look at that. How is it eating through the blast? Oh! Terrifying. How cute is that? And there's also an option to pick it up. Oh my god, it meows at you too. Goodness me, that is really cute. So can we pick it up? Oh. <gasps> oh, okay. Now we have a pet cat. Well, there it is. It's Johnny! Oh, it's cleaning itself. Oh, damn, that is adorable. Look at it. Why has it got no bloody eyes? The fuck? This poor stray cat. Oh my god. Now we're looking after it in a laundry basket with the rest of our clothes. Now, if you are a cat owner, that is a huge mistake. You're not put the cat on your clothes. Well, I guess this is a hairless cat, so I think we're fine. But look! Oh my god, it's got its old food bowl, and we've got a new food bowl for it with cat food. Damn, son. Let's let's buy a big-ass burrito as well. So now this is your pet cat. It's in your apartment forever. Just like, for example, the uh, if you're in the Nomad backstory, you get the backer's car, for example. Why do I have all these cigarettes? Johnny, what the hell? Has Johnny been using my body? These have appeared since Johnny took over my body. What the hell? They were not there before. There's loads of Easter eggs in this apartment, by the way. I mean, for example, if you followed my other video, you also have the Arasaka Gwent Troll doll as well. And obviously, if you followed my Legendary Weapons playlist, you also have, like, Jackie's Unique Pistol or Panam's Exclusive Rifle that does over 10,000 damage if you build your character around it. Or this Arasaka Sword, my friends. The playlist for all those unique weapons are linked below, by the way. Loads of other guys down below. I wanted to make a separate video about this because I knew you cat lovers and my fiancé would appreciate it. So that is why I made it. But the real treasure is just here, gentlemen. And I will see you guys in the next one, Battle Brothers.